good and decent people of YouTube, we're down to the last two weeks of me celebrating you getting this channel to 24,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? So, I'm giving you all of my favorite episodes, plus some new stuff in there as well, and you guys go to the community tab and vote for which ones you think belong on the top 100 at the end of the year. I know you remember this one. <laughs> Pardon me? Let's see if you QR code. A QR code for what? Let's see if you're not Well, me and my family are actually, we live two hours away and we came to sit down and I need to feed my Anyway, so many people and uh, people who are sharing the proof are allowed to sit over here. So only if you have proof you can sit here. So I, I don't have access to be treated the same as everybody else. Like what does the family do when they have little kids that need a table? And... Are you aware that's a huge violation of human rights right now? Huge. Not no, it's not private property. Because this is not private property. Everybody has a right to be here. It's open to the public. It's open to the public. My tax dollars don't go to this. 100% they do. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but if you didn't know, no, your tax dollars do not go to fund the mall. <laughs> What's happening here is Karen believes she's entitled to everything. And so this is just how she explains it in her head, I guess. Let's continue. 100%, they pay your wages, they pay for all of this. It's not, you are serving the public, so I guarantee you, I will challenge you in that in the court. You're discriminating against because I can't sit down here with my family and my young kids to sit and eat and eat that. The vaccination? That is not up for disclosure for it anybody. It is, it is, it is private. It is the new rule of the mall. It's not a rule, this it's the not, not a rule. I swear to God, if you touch me. To leave, you'll be arrested for truck tax. Are we gonna have a West Edmonton Mall incident? I am leaving, but I'm making sure that I have the evidence that I need. Okay, we will have a lawsuit. Question, you just asked, told me, be a good little slave. You're wearing your mask like all the rest of the slaves You're there. telling me, a woman of color, and I'm a woman be of color a good too. little slave. I'm a Mexican woman of color too. Okay, so I'm not saying she's lying, right? Fine, but in the black community, this is historically and culturally known as passing. When black people are light enough to pass for white, they understood the privileges they got in every facet of life as they saw their black counterparts suffer. The difference is, my friends, they actually understood the difference. <laughs> but not Karen. Uh-uh. Good example for your children. Our children will never see the freedoms that we enjoyed growing up. They are not even free to breathe fresh air. If God wanted us to cover our mouth and nose, he would have made us that way. You sound stupid. So, according to Karen here, if God wanted us to wear clothes, we wouldn't have been born like this? <laughs> what? Just arbitrarily putting God in a sentence doesn't make you sound authoritative, Karen. You sound stupid. Shut up. Hopefully will, but I'm really surprised that you're carrying out this hoax. You know this is from Whitmer. You know this is from the health department. You know this is from Oakland County. You know this is from Biden. You know this is from Barack and Kamala and Washington, D.C. and the CDC and Fauci. This is a hoax, okay? We're sick of it. We're sick of it. We're sick of it. People that are fearful and worried and concerned, they should stay home and stay safe. They have choices. There's in-home learning, there's virtual learning, there's all sorts of different types of learning for every person, whatever their issue is. I don't want to be compromised because of someone else's fear. And this is manufactured because we are going down the Marxist agenda here. You've, I'm 70 years old. I used to see pictures of communist Chinese children all in mass, all stepping to the drummer. That's what this is all about, Marxism. This is selling us out to the Chinese. And if you read any of the social media today for what it's worth, New Zealand is in total lockdown because of one Delta case. 
That's what I read for whatever it's worth. Whether it's true, not true, but if you want to be in lockdown and in lockstep for the rest of your life, you go ahead, but I don't want it. It's no life. And as an aside, because I am 70, I live with measles, smallpox, malaria, polio, rubella, chicken pox, everything. And when one kid had it, the whole class had it. And the teachers knew when they were taking teaching positions that children got sick. Okay, they had choices, right? But we've had to pay them for this last year to stay home with all of their benefits, okay? Because they're fearful that they might get a germ. What's wrong with your nose, Karen? Did you get into a fight this morning because you said something stupid? <laughs> That's my guess. When I was growing up, we loved polio. Let me get a little bit of that diphtheria while you're at it. <laughs> so stupid! I'm a child. They, they knew that this is what the job held in store for them, potentially. Their choice, I'm not sorry. You have polio, you worry about polio, believe me. You can be dismembered, disabled, very, 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 very sick. A virus, a germ, unfortunate, but you'll survive. Really, it's it's really disgusting the the path that people are taking now, and because we're headed towards a world war war a world war, Afghanistan has fallen Kabul, the Iranians, the Chinese, the Russians. How are we going to prepare the young people to go to war and defend the country if they're worried about this? How are they going to fight? Nobody wants their child to go to war. Nobody does. Don't misunderstand me, but sometimes it's necessary to have a military to fight. We have no fighting spirit here. Thank you, Mr. Next is Jerry Now, can you imagine? The Marvel superhero levels of entitlement required to do this to another human being and not expect them to turn around and pummel you and your Taco Bell dog into the ground beneath you. Beyond Omega level spoiled brat. Ew. <laughs> in fact that whenever Karen runs out of the talking points that she looked up on the internet that morning everything else she has to say just becomes a a volley of curse words and incoherent but hey what you gonna do Karen's gonna Karen right
All right, guys, I know this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, and it truly does pain me to say it, but f Donald Trump, he is now trying to say that by us doubting the jab, that we're playing right into their hands. What? All we care about is exposing and knowing the truth. And he's going to sit here and continuously lie to us to push this narrative and the product that he wants to take full credit for. Do you guys not see the problem with this? I mean, if he truly cared about saving what, whatever's left of this country, and if he truly cared about you, then he should be more concerned about exposing the overwhelming number of adverse reactions and deaths from the jab. But no, he continues to rally people up and uh, deceive people into thinking that this is somehow good. Not to mention he's now claiming that he got the booster, which I don't know if that's true or not. But regardless, why is he still touting this product that's killing people? I don't care if you're left or right. These are wings of the same evil bird. And we have to remember that the whole goal is depopulation by shooting you up with their experimental poison. And a lot of you are probably going to say, oh, well, I don't care what he does because this is about medical freedom as long as we have the choice. He's not even giving you the choice. And this is what happens when you convince your entire base to believe in nonsense, unprovable conspiracy theories, fiction and foolishness as a way to win an election. And when the Frankenstein monster turns around on you, you know why. You did it. <laughs> and I love it. The number one most disgusting Karen is coming up next. But before we get to that, I just want you to listen to this. Hey guys, Team Box Cutter Productions has a brand new channel and we want you to come visit it by clicking the link in the description. The channel is called the MC's channel. It's for music lovers and music majors. We tell the stories that relate music to the world around us, breakdowns of albums and we have amazing hosts that have done everything from Broadway to Beyonce to opera. Yeah, we have an opera singer. All of our hosts are exceptional educators, funny, and it's produced by me, so you know it's gonna be fun and entertaining. Click that link in the description, check us out, press subscribe, we would really love it. Listen, it's hard to watch some of the stuff we put on here all day long. It can be a bummer, it can make you mad, it can get you down. Well we have another channel that's meant to lift you up. Tell awesome stories, short form and long form. We know you're gonna love it. And like I said, I'm the producer, so it's gonna make you laugh. Oh, I can't wear one, I have a medical condition. Good and decent people of YouTube, she is acting. <laughs> How do we know? Well, that squeaking sound you hear, that's the door behind her. As she walks into the store with her phone on, out, and set to record, she's not there to buy anything, huh? And what makes this worse? What makes this worse is that this little mom and pop shop, they actually run a hospice care donation center, which means if she actually did buy something from the little shop, she may have actually been one step closer to being a decent, human being but then no she wouldn't be a Karen then would she oh yeah oh yeah and this is the same ogre who told the black cashier in another video I did that her people sold her into slavery yeah this is that kind of Karen and action oh I can't wear one I have a medical condition if I were in a wheelchair, would you discriminate against me? Yeah. I hope not. I don't wear a mask. I'm a free American. Thank you. Yeah, I have... I'm sorry, but you won't be able to come in. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that you're incorrect, and I actually do have a medical condition, and I have every right to be here. So maybe you should call the police and tell them that you're breaking the law. That's practicing medicine without a license. You're not a doctor, and a mask is a medical intervention. Are you aware of that? Ma'am. No, you need to be aware of that. I didn't wake up in North Korea this morning. I woke up in America. Yes, you do have to wear a mask. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Then please leave. Yeah? And how dare you talk to her like that? Why don't you read it out loud? You have to. I'll read it to you. You have to wear a mask. A licensed medical professional is the only person qualified to give medical advice 
including the advice to wear a mask, which negatively affects the respiratory system, neurological system. Okay, that's okay. And in immune this system. store, in this store, you have to wear a mask. Practicing medicine without a license okay, I'm the call, is an offense punishable by law. I don't yes. like you in here because if you have cold, tough crap, you're spreading it. To I'm going to breathe all over while I'm in here. Okay, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yes. You disgusting, filthy pig. You stupid, out loud, sociopathic, narcissistic, super predator. Thank you for confirming everything we already thought about you, Karen. Ew. Because I that's couldn't okay. give you COVID if I tried. That's okay. It's Please the flu. Be here any minute. Exactly. And they will take you out of here. I cannot wait to see that yeah, happen. I bet you can. I can't. You yeah. think this is exciting and funny? Don't I you? think this is funny. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. That's it. Go vote. And one big time shout out to old school Nana. And super super big shout outs go to Ellen Algava and Cece, my brand new Patreon members. Thank you guys so much.